This video will show you how to save all your reverse osmosis water that goes down the drain. Mmm. The typical wastewater ratio of an RO unit claimed by manufacturers is four parts wastewater to one part clean water. This means for every one gallon of drinkable water, four gallons or more will go down the drain. This ratio can be as high as 20 to 1 depending on the membrane age and how much back pressure is in the storage tank. This is a block diagram of a typical reverse osmosis. Your house water comes in through this valve into a first stage, which is typically a 5 micron sediment filter which traps sediments and other particulate matters, then goes into the second stage filter, in my case it's a carbon filter which reduces chlorine taste and odor, and then it goes through this red uh, line here through a shutoff valve into the membrane, the heart of the RO system. This semi-permeable membrane will take out TDS and sodium and a wide range of contaminants such as perchlorate, chromium, arsenic, copper, lead, as well as much more. An RO membrane will remove impurities, particles larger than 0.001 microns. After this portion, the water travels through a switch valve into a storage tank because we can't have enough when we demand it and will travel through a fourth stage uh, on its way out to the faucet which is typically a VOC filter which removes volatile organic chemicals like the MTBEs, uh, benzene and the like. The uh, portion we're going to concern ourselves with is this uh, wastewater that comes out which uh, typically goes out into this drain and uh, we are going to capture it whether you have a drip system or a container outside that you capture it and uh, reuse that. This water is of course much better quality than comes in through here because it's gone through this filtration system. This is my uh, four stage RO. There's five stage or other stages. In this case stage one is in the back, stage two is the middle one and then it goes into this membrane up here at the top and from this membrane you have two outputs. One is the red line going up for your drinking water and then the black line coming down here which is what we're going to remove uh, going down the drain into the sewage. The holding tank is right here which uh, forces it, before it goes into the drinking water, it goes through this fourth stage. We're going to try to drill a hole at the very top there, as high as possible, but still have enough of a flow because it's gravity fed that there is no uh, problems of water going down the hill. There's the hole I drilled from the inside. And here's the outside shot where I plan to come out to a place I mark here on the wall. It should be opposite to where we have the inside hole. All right, here I'm drilling the hole on the outside. I use a masonry drill for this stucco work. Now I'm gonna see if I uh, aligned myself through. This may take a little poking. I have some insulation there. Okay, I fell through and you could see that I got all the way through to the other side. So now what I'll do is I'll run the hose from outside to here and run it across all the way to the garden around here and some storage. I put a little patching compound on the inside of this uh, drywall and over here where we have the drain I've got um, a little tube with an end cap. If you find a cap that fits here that would be better but you have to make sure that you plug up the hole that goes into the drain. Here's the RO output that I plan to run down to where I need it. I took a piece of board, screwed it down, primed it, have this little attachment on it and have uh, the original poly 
tubing, uh, wrapped it with a couple layers of this electrical thick tape and now I will attempt to hook it to this half inch poly tubing so I have a nice flow out something like that um, you can probably find couplings uh, that work better I'll have to work on this some more later but um, you want the nice flow down here's the end result the water coming out of the wall where the stucco is I run the half inch tubing all the way down to this bucket right now after one quart maybe a little bit more the five gallon bucket is almost full so you'll save a lot of water by doing this the five gallon bucket thing did not work out. I filled up two or three of them every day. So got this uh, 100 gallon trough. I guess you can use them for horses or whatever. You can use anything you want, but uh, you could see it's almost um, filled up to three fourths in like five days, four days. and. Uh, I think this is going to work out fine. I put a cinder block in here in case a pit gets stuck in there and can jump out. Anyways, as you can see, there's plenty of water that comes out and you just need to capture it. Mm -hmm.